Hey guys, so I got tagged to do the what's in my purse tag um, and so I thought I would go ahead and film it. I had some extra time and I wasn't planning on doing it but I thought why not. So I guess we will go and get into it. So this is the current bag. Oops, something's falling out. This is the current bag that I have and it's this Betsy Johnson really pretty lime green and pink bag with studs and really really cute I love this bag it's super big which it's kind of gets a little annoying sometimes um, but I really like it I got it at Ross I think for $40 it was originally 98 or something like that so I got a really good deal on it so it's my bag looks like and another really bad thing about it is it doesn't have a lot of compartments. It's basically just one big compartment. So it's kind of hard to keep everything organized. But when you open it, this is what it looks like. I have not gone through my bag, so I don't even know what's in here. But we'll see. And another really cute thing is the little zippers. They're um, little lightning bolts, and they say Betsyville on them. So I thought those were really cute. So guess we'll go ahead and start. First thing is my phone. It is ginormous. It is the Galaxy S2. It's huge, but I love it. So, got my phone, some plain black case, nothing fancy. And then the second thing I have in here is my, oh my gosh, my sunglasses case, which my puppy has chewed. I have a little um, three-month-old Rottweiler. So she decided to chew this up. Thank goodness she didn't chew my bag. She just took a bunch of stuff out of it and chewed what was inside. But she chewed this up. So it's got my sunglasses in it. And I just have a pair of aviators. And these I got at Canton, which is like an outdoor market, if you don't know what that is. All right, so the third item is kind of random. Well, it's not random, but it's kind of big and bulky and weird. But I have this little self-made coupon book. It says coupons. And this is just an old photo album I have and I've never used it. But basically, I just keep all my coupons in here. So, um, like makeup coupons, um, like Garnier. I have some ra coupons for razors. I have coupons for movies. So my, hus my husband and I like to go to the movies. I have some Swiffer um, coupons. I mean, everything. I have, an, I have two Ulta coupons. I have a pizza coupon. Alright, next I have, gosh, this is so sad, I have a planner, and like my sunglasses case, my dog has chewed it. I'm debating on whether to just get a new one, because I think this was like $2 at Target, it was not expensive at all, and it's just all messed up. Alright, the next thing I have, y'all are going to think I'm crazy after this um, tag, but I have a pocket knife. My husband gave this to me um, for security reasons, he said you never know when you may use it. So I have a little pocket knife. What's really cool though is this thing comes out and then it's got these little like you know little sc screwdriver bit things and you can stick it in there so if I need to like fix something or I've got four of them so I've got two I don't know what you call those just like regular Wilson one's a little smaller than the other and then I have two flathead ones. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know. All right. The next thing I have is probably my th favorite thing that I have in my bag. It is my little makeup bag. So I keep all my little beauty items here. And the first item I have are these clean and clear oil absorbing sheets. And my dog chewed those too, but the sheets are still safe. The sheets are still good, it's just the outer packaging is all messed up. I just can't have nice things because my dog chews them. But I've got those, so I love those because in the middle of the day, if I'm starting to feel like I'm glistening, I can rub those over my face. Um, I have this My Glam Glam Gloss, and if you watched my video on my August Glam Bag, you'll know what this is. And it's just a really pretty pink gloss. This is my favorite lip gloss right now, so I like to keep it in my purse. I have a small comb, just in case. I have my EOS lip balm which my dog has also chewed if you can see the little teeth marks. I have a little mini hand sanitizer from Bath and Body Works. Got this from my mother-in-law. And then I have a Maybelline Baby Lips. My dog got through this too. If you can see it's 
cracked one right there, but this one smells really good too. And if my thing is moving back here, it's because my dog is trying to get in. So, whatever. And then I have, for some reason, I have my driver's license in here. I don't know why. Um, I have a family rec pass from when we went to um, the Massanutten Resort in, uh, I don't even know what city it was, but it was here in Virginia. We won a little, like, four day stay at a resort so that was our little rec pass and then I have a receipt so I told you I literally did not even go through this bag this is a authentic what's in my bag all right so I have a couple more things oh okay this is random all right I have an English breakfast tea packet um I got this at the resort and they were in the little condo and so I just took it because it looked really good so I have one of those. I think my dog ate the other one. I have a library card to the Norfolk Public Library. A little keychain thing, which is not on my keychain, so that kind of defeats the purpose. And my dog is trying to get in here still. All right. Oh my gosh. All right, next I have tampons in here because I'm a girl. Um, my dog ate those too, so I'm probably going to throw all these away because they are completely demolished. All right, I'm back. I do go beat my dog. I'm just kidding. And then I have my wallet. And this is a Liz Claiborne wallet. I think I got this at Ross or TJ Maxx, um, so it wasn't expensive at all. It's just this nice little faux leather paint, uh, purple, pink, purple wallet. My dog chewed it too. As you can see, she loves getting in my purse, so... What can you do? All right, in here I have a Target receipt, and it's actually for this ring that I'm wearing. And this was $5.58 at Target. It was on sale. I think it was like half off. So, and then Velveeta. Kind of random. All right, and then I have a to-do list in here. Um, laundry, kitty pan, sweep downstairs, mop downstairs, clean both bathrooms, drop off clothes at Goodwill, vacuum upstairs, put desk in the guest bedroom, which... I've already done. Clean papers in the office, call Netflix, vacuum the stairs, and clean out my truck. And I did all of those but the two at the bottom. This was like from last weekend. Anyway, TMI. TMI. Alright, so I've got my checks in here. It's just a pretty standard wallet. I've got my Ulta Rewards card. I've got a Starbucks card. I've got my K's card. Tom Thumb. Um, this is a... NTB VIP card for when I get stuff done to my truck. Um, I have a Chili's gift card, which I don't even think has anything on it. I have a Sephora card. I have an American Eagle card. Um, they're not like credit cards. They're just like little points cards or something like that. Then over here, I have all my credit cards. I have my old student ID from when I went to University of North Texas. Represent. And then I have my military ID because I am a Navy mama. And let's see what else. I have two coupons to Dickies, but they are in Texas, which is where I'm from. So I can't even use them right now. I gotta wait till I go back home. And then I have my insurance. I have a random note. Um, and my social security card. So nothing that I really wanna put, you know, up close on the camera. That wouldn't be very smart. And then at the bottom of my bag, I just have some change and some random shredded paper. This is actually from my women's health magazine that my dog chewed. I mean, I feel like I have a child and they just get into all my stuff. Um, this bag, I correct myself, this bag does have two little pockets, but they're even, they're kind of too small to put anything in. Like my phone won't fit in there. Excuse me, my phone won't fit in there, so they're kind of useless to me. All right, so that is my bag. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm sorry if it was boring to you. I was tagged to do it, and I had some free time, so why not? Um, I tag all of you to do this. It's kind of fun to see what you have in your bag. If you if it's authentic and you don't go through your bag first, like you actually just literally pick up your purse and say here's what's in it, it's kind of funny to see what's in there. I found some really crazy stuff in there that I didn't even know what was in there. But um, I tag all of you to do it and if you would like, leave it as a video response so that I can watch them as well. And I will talk to you later. Bye!